Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Senior Captain Nash Neenhaus and Junior David Gucciardi are the only upperclassmen blue liners for MSU this season. Gucciardi has been a mainstay for the Spartans since his freshman year as he has played in a total of 86 games for the green and white. Our Tyler Driesinga sat down with him this week to talk about where his love for hockey began and just how far the sport has taken him. Like so many kids in Toronto, David Gucciardi's love of hockey was passed down from his father and developed on an outdoor rink. He built a rink every year, an outdoor rink, so that was really special for me and my brother, a couple of my cousins who would always come over and play. So that's kind of where the love of the game for me stems out from. Gucciardi has come a long way from those early days. He says he began to really take hockey seriously as a freshman in high school. College interests started coming during his sophomore year, and after one visit to MSU, he was sold. He made an immediate impact as a freshman, playing in every game. Was that the expectation for you coming here, or um, were you surprised to be playing every game as a freshman? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it was the expectation. I think the expectation is more along the lines of uh, work hard in practice and see what happens on the weekend, not thinking too far ahead in the future, control and kind of what I can control, and that's my practice effort every day. So I think. I think that kind of gave me a good mindset. I wasn't looking in the future. I wasn't expecting anything. I just wanted to come in, and, and it's just an honor to even you know wear that practice jersey and practice every day at Mon. After his freshman year, head coach Danton Cole was relieved of his duties and replaced by Adam Nightingale. Gucciardi says it didn't take long to buy into Nightingale's vision for the program. His first meeting, like the level of preparation he had, it really it gave the whole team a sense of like we're gonna really turn this thing around, and we had a plan in place and. That, that plan really gives you excitement and makes you want to work and, and execute, right? So he, uh, he got everyone on board really quickly with how prepared he was and how prepared he wanted us to be for the game. So I think that, that really separates him and that's why he's a really good coach. The hiring of Nightingale wasn't the only exciting announcement for Gucciardi that offseason. He was drafted by the Washington Capitals in the seventh round of the NHL draft. But he says he was working out with his MSU teammates when his name was called and he didn't find out until an hour later. I wasn't sure if I was going to be picked and kind of it was out of my control at that point. I had, had the year and I thought I did everything I could to be picked and I was kind of at ease or I was at a good peace of mind if I was going to go or not so I ended up getting picked and then it was an amazing feeling, something I always wanted my whole life so to be selected and then be around, be surrounded by all my teammates, it was, uh, it was a great feeling and it was awesome to have those guys with me. You shouted out across the room, or how did your teammates kind of figure um, out what was happening? How I found out actually was Nico. I looked at my phone, and then Nico was like in the dry stall area with me, and we both had the same time. I think he saw something on Instagram, and I saw a text on my phone. So at the same time, it was like, oh, shit. and then he, <laughs> excuse <laughs> me, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, like what? Like I had no words, right? I was so excited. He kind of realized too, so I was with him and. He was happy for me and he's, he's a great dude, so it, it was fun to experience that with him. And obviously as a seventh round pick, it's uh, going to be a challenge to get to the NHL level. Why do you feel like you're prepared for that challenge? Um, I, think, I think I had the mindset I wanted to close seven rounds of gap as soon as I got picked. I said, you know, I have, I have that much, you know, I got to close if I want to be on the scale of a first round pick. So I think that mindset's kind of helped me, the coaches have helped me prepare. They've, They've gotten guys there, so they kind of they know what it's going to take. They know what I need to change. So just listening to them and then working hard, I think I think that sh you know hopefully will get me there. Over the holiday break, Gucciardi returned home to Toronto, laced up his skates, and went out to play on an outdoor rink. It was a chance to reconnect with the roots of his love for the sport and to reflect on just how far he's come. Getting back out, uh, different outdoor rink. My dad doesn't make it anymore, but still getting on the rink. It, it brings back the love of the game and, and really, you know, the reason why we started to play and it always puts a smile on my face being out there. And if you think back to when you were a little kid playing pond hockey with your brother, what would that kid say about where you are now and the opportunities that you have in front of you as a hockey player? Oh, uh, he'd be he'd be so pumped up and uh, you know, I, I don't I think I think he would believe it because I, I genuinely believed it when I was a little kid. I always thought, you know, no matter what I'd make it or you know, I've always had that kind of mindset and not like in a cocky way, just in a way of I love this sport and I, I truly want to grind until I get there, right? So that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I think the kid, that kid would be really pumped up though, for sure. 
As Gucciardi looks to take the next steps in his development, one area he's hoping to improve in the most is consistency. We need to take one final break, and when we come back, we're going to be chatting with head coach Adam Nightingale to talk about the team's performance last week in the 57th annual Great Lakes Invitational. We'll see you soon. This segment is sponsored by MSU Healthcare. 